All living cells contain a lipid bilayer cell membrane, enveloping genetic material constituted by a collection of genes. Amongst these, we find essential genes, indispensable for cells to live, which vary amongst organisms and are characterized by the environment in which they live in. In single-celled organisms, such as bacteria, essential genes encode proteins for three basic functions – genetic information processing, cell envelopes, and energy production. In viruses, most essential genes are related to processing and maintenance of genetic information, but missing many essential genes for metabolism, making it to hijack the host's metabolism for procreation. A good example of this is SARS-CoV-2 virus gene, which infects and hijacks human cells taking control of the amino acids, nucleotides and cofactors, and energy pathways to biosynthesis inside the cellular environment and produce offspring that will in turn infect other neighboring cells and continue the cycle. This process is not easy to stop, hence why scientists are looking at targeting the essential genes that are required for viral offspring production to stop it in its tracks. Similarly, scientists are studying the genomes of emerging pathogens and antibiotic-resistant superbugs to find targets to prevent the pandemic of bacterial pathogens. They want to identify the pool of essential genes which will become targets for antibiotic development. By controlling the essential genes, scientists aim to destroy the pathogens from within. Furthermore, broad-spectrum antibiotics indiscriminately destroy the human microbiome, most of which are beneficial. Professor Shu's laboratory found that different bacterial species have different sets of essential genes that can be used to selectively target pathogens instead of using broad-spectrum antibiotics. The selection of bad from good or ugly approach will also reduce the antibiotic resistance. Professor Zhu and his research group also identified all essential genes in Streptococcus sanguinis, a commensal oral bacterium relating with oral biofilm formation. It's an opportunistic pathogen that causes ineffective endocarditis. Many other streptococcal species are also responsible for infectious diseases, such as pneumonia, bacteremia, strep throat, scarlet fever, meningitis, and dental caries, as streptococcal species share very similar essential genes. By identifying the essential genes of S. sanguinis, Professor Xu's group believes that they have the key to combat related strains. Professor Zhu's group identified essential genes using systems biology approach and in turn noticed that these were linked together in pathways. These findings were subsequently validated in different bacterial species, leading to a simplified model that permits reliable prediction of gene essentiality, which can be used to construct computational algorithms for essential genes prediction to help targeted drug design to combat pathogenic microorganisms.